like the third time Square Enix has done this. Dropping trailers in the middle of the day while I am at work. Square Enix decided they to drop a new trailer today on Twitter and then on YouTube. And I'm like, I don't got time for this. I'm literally at work. But I'm ready for it. It's a minute long. Some people are suggesting that there's going to be a longer version of it coming out real soon. I mean, we're literally a month and some change before the game comes out. So... It's bound to be one or two last trailers, but it's time for me to react to it. Okay, so I'm on the Final Fantasy YouTube channel, and this is the Destined for Rebirth trailer. Oh, starting off strong, I see, with the knee behind. Flashback. <laughs> oh, the music. <gasps> what happened to this place? It was Sephiroth. He wants to finish what he started and rule uh, over the know? planet. You coming? Way ahead of ya! <laughs> you be. Is that Bob and Swell boss fight? Oh my god, the music, y'all. Let's get to work. Midgar Zola. <gasps> Truly a model soldier. <laughs> we can handle this. Wow, the way he screamed Tifa's name. I will reclaim our world. Wow. That was that was short. <laughs> that was short. <laughs> Since this was a really, really short trailer, just a minute, instead of separating my reaction video and my lore discussion video, let's just combine both of them together for this short trailer. So let's look at this again. So obviously. Sephiroth, fire in the background, knee behind incident. One of the most pivotal scenes in all of Final Fantasy, in my opinion. Sephiroth. God, the way that that cut went to the music. I think that's probably one of the aspects of Rebirth that I'm looking forward to the most is the soundtrack, because I love, 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 love remake soundtrack. And I'm really looking forward to Rebirth soundtrack. They already said it before that some songs will be returning, but there will be a different arrangement of the remake version of it. So it's like an even more evolved version of remake soundtrack. I'm just so excited. But who's this? Because <laughs> you're not a uh, Zangin, right? Z Zan Zangin, Tifa's teacher. You're not Cl uh, Claudia, Cloud's mom. You're not. Tifa's dad, we've already seen what he looks like. Just, I guess, a random Nibelheim person? Nibelheimian? Nibelheimian? Nibelheim citizen? <laughs> you can see just the pain on Cloud's face here is. You can feel it, even though this is, you know. This may not be all it appears to be for those who know the actual storyline Final Fantasy, but just the just the pain here you can see in his face. Whoa, 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 whoa. So we saw this in the first trailer. This is Sector 2. Midgar Sector 2. Now this I'm assuming is the parallel timeline where Zack is alive and where the rest of the cast is dead or at least we see in the past trailer Aerith was in a coma back at home um Cloud is with Zack but we saw Tifa in Red 13 and buried on stretchers maybe dead or so something like what happened to here <laughs> like what happened to midgar like geez but you know okay right here i want to see that she's happened to this place it was sephiroth and so they said it was sephiroth 
Now, I'm not sure if this is a line from Zack's timeline or is that a line pulled from the main story? But if it was Sephiroth, y'all remember in Remake, in like when they go to Shinra building and they're going through all the floors and they go to that, the exploratory floor where they're shown a um like 3D image uh video of like the Cetra and what the power of Mako is going to do for Migar and everything. And you're talking about the, the splendor and the wonders of the promised land and Sephiroth hijacks it and talks about, you know, whatever he talks about. Like, what he's showing to Cloud and the gang in that sort of vision, that happening in that, on that one floor in Shinra building a uh, exploration tour, does that, actually happen in this timeline? Is that what's happening? What happened to this place? It was Sephiroth. It can't be. Looking at the background here, um, this looks like the same background that we see in the last trailer where Cloud is walking around a boat, the same boat that you take from uh, June on the Costa de Sol, which was already established, um, I think in like so many interviews and everything. This looks like the same, like, in behind Barrett here, the same background that Cloud was walking on. So I wonder if this is on the boat to Kose this all. He wants to finish what he started. Tune on. Over the Ooh. I love that we can see just a tad bit of the high wind up here in the top right corner. Oh man, I cannot wait for us to gain access to that and to fly around the world and chase Ultima Weapon. I hope that's a thing in this one. And I guess part three, chasing around Ultima and to fight it eventually. And rule over the planet. Yep. Where are those whispers? Those look like the whispers behind Sephiroth here. Planet. Hmm. You coming? Oh, I recognize that location too. Uh, we saw this in the last trailer. This is the haunted uh, house location in Ghost Saucer. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Way ahead of you. I love you, Fee. Bob as well, boss fight. Where was that where Tifa was? Some sort of lava looking area. I, hmm. Just thinking about where they go after leaving Midgar in the original, it goes to Calm, then it goes to the Chocobo Farm, then it goes to the Mithra Caves, then it goes to Optional Fort Condor, then it goes to Junon. Boat, close to this all. Then it goes to like the Corral Mountains or whatever. Then it's North Corral, then it's Gold Saucer, then it's uh the Desert Prison, then it's Optional Gungaga, then it's Cosmo Canyon. Ooh, this could be Cosmo Canyon, maybe. Um, not Cosmo Canyon, but like uh the Ghee Caves in Cosmo Canyon. There was lava in that area. Because after that would be um, Nibelheim, then it would be Rocket Town. They said that we're not going to Wutai in this part. So then it would be the Temple of the Ancients. Then um, this is, you know, they said they're not going in the same order as the original, but this would be the general order. So after Temple of the Ancients, then we go to uh, the Forgotten Capital or Bone Village. I wonder if we're going to go to Bone Village and like dig up the key to get to the Temple of the Ancients. So, but that's the only place, the Gi Caves on the Cosmo Canyon is the only place I can think of where lava would be. Let's get to work. Man, look at the, oh, wait, there's lava here. Oh, <laughs> well, there seems to be like a beam of lava rocks right here. So perhaps Tifa was fighting in Midgar Zolom, which is wild because you, this is an optional fight. You don't ever have to fight this in the original. If you're on a Choco, you could just run past it. But obviously, they're 
either one making you fight it or this is like a side quest something tells me like this would be like a side quest and not actually part of like the main story like fighting it but who knows You are truly a marvelous soldier. Now, you have like some sort of machinery behind Hojo here. <laughs> Where would this happen in part two? In part two, the only times that you would see Hojo, if they were following the general storyline, would be. Costa de Sol, like, you see Hojo at Costa de Sol chilling on the beach with a whole bunch of women, which is wild. I really hope we keep that. <laughs> Hojo there. And then the next time you see Hojo again is at the reunion in the North Crater. And as far as Square Enix told us, like, we're not going that far. Like, it's ending at the pivotal scene in the Forgotten City. Um, but they did say they're changing area locations and story points around. So who knows? Who knows what is the actual, like, plot line? <laughs> but here, like, I would assume this would be after the Nibelheim incident where Cloud is, Cloud and Zack are taken uh, in after almost dying in what happened in the Nibai incident and being experienced and on for like, you know, four to five years or whatever. This is the only time that I could see this, but like, if this is not it, what would this be? Then, uh, what would this be? Cause the only other time you see something like this is like when they're revealing what actually happens in the Nibai incident. So like, what? <laughs> Wait, where was that? So, so, wow, wow. <laughs> Where is this? Where is this? I can't tell. There's whispers. There's whispers all in this. I thought we were done, honestly, with the whispers. Something's happening here. The plot is deviating from the original, hence why whispers are here. What is this, though? Like, my first thought of Cloud fighting soldiers would be on the boat from June on the coast of this all, but this looks like, I don't know, green in your back. I, I don't know where this is, but there's whispers. Hmm. What is this? Is this a weapon? We see in, was it the last trailer or the trailer before that? They, uh, Buchenhagen mentions, was it Buchenhagen or was it like Vincent's voice? I don't know. Someone mentions, uh, about the weapons, the weapons that come to life to um, the planet's last defense, um, against Sephiroth and the meteor and all that stuff. Um, they talk about weapons for like 0.5 seconds we see a scene where tifa looks like she may be floating in a pool of mako with a weapon spinning around her this looks like the same thing if this is not what else can this be this area kind of kind of reminds me of that destroyed mako reactor in gungaga but there was no like like what is this this is not a summon that I recognize. This looks like the weapon, but why was. Well, why is Tifa falling in a Mako? Mako pull a Mako. In the way that Cloud screams her name. Jeez. There, a lot of stuff is happening in this location here. Whatever this is, oh, trying to think, um, other possible locations if this isn't Gungaga, Rocket Town, this could be the, you know, related or connected to the site where the rocket is in Rocket Town because there's Shinra presence there as well. Um, 
you don't bump into soldiers like this in Nibelheim or Cosmo Canyon. Gungaga, you don't technically bump into soldiers in Gungaga, but you do fight Reno and Rude there, and you encounter Elena there and stuff. And we do see a scene when you walk into where you walk to where the Mako reactor, uh, the the destroyed failed Mako reactor in Gungaga is. Cloud and Gang hides to the side while Scarlet, maybe Heidegger talks about uh, like walks into the area and talks about the reactor and everything. And I think you find like a Titan summon material there, but um, this is the only other place besides Rocket Town that I can think of. And like the boat to Costa de Sol, but this doesn't look like a boat because there's greenery all around, you know, the moss and stuff all around the walls and the, you know, it's overgrown stuff. Like a destroyed abandoned mako reactor like in gungaga I will reclaim our are we fighting in kosa de sol are we fighting yuffie with the jutsu out here are we fighting in kosa de sol like what are you what are we fighting in kosa de sol i'm here for it though you we saw in the trailer that cloud is on a segue and he's wearing a different outfit like are we getting different outfits for everyone we've been kind of teased at Close to the cell outfits with Ever Crisis, Aerith and Tifa and Cloud all had different type of uh summer outfits for that game. And I know this is a completely different one, but I mean it's obviously possible because in the in-game models for the in-game fighting models are based off of remakes fighting models. So obviously the assets are there. This right here, I think, is the Costa de Sol ship. It is, in the story, you bump into Sephiroth. We're not bumping into Sephiroth. You bump into a clone of Sephiroth there, and then you fight Genova. That's the first time when you, like, when you first fight Genova in the original, not like how you fight Genova Quickeny in Remake. This is where you fight him. This looks like this might be that area. And that this would be a Sephiroth clone. In our world. Mm, let's just look at this again. Right here. What is happening? When I see this, the first thing I think of is like the crater. You, after the events of. The Forgotten City in that important scene, and you go to Icicle Inn, you go to the Guy Cliffs, and you go to the caves up there, you go down into the crater and the whirlwind maze and such, and it does, doesn't look like a whirlwind maze, but it looks all destructive and stuff like that, kind of like it is in a whirlwind maze, and I, when I first saw this in like one of the other first trailers before they said part two's ending at the pivotal scene in Forgotten City. I was like, oh snap, they are going to all the way to the crater and ending it off there. That would have been such a great cliffhanger. Oh, I wish they were still doing that. Well, who knows what they're doing though. I want to know what's happening there. Ugh. February 29th though. Man, oh man. All right, y'all, that is it for today. Yet another trailer that we're reacting to and that we are discussing what is happening within the trailer. There's a lot and I'm excited for what's to come. We still have a month and a couple weeks before Rebirth comes out. I'm just sitting here ready, excited for what's to happen. I'm just gonna go with the flow. I'm it's nothing to criticize. I'm like, we still have the original if we don't like what happens here. I know I'm going to enjoy it no matter what. I've enjoyed every trailer that I've seen so far. And I'm just waiting. When are we going to get that demo, you know? But thank you everyone for joining me as usual. I appreciate you being here. Let me know what was your favorite moment of this trailer. What do you think about the stuff that I said? Do you agree? Do you disagree? What are your thoughts and opinions about what is happening in this trailer? And I'll see you all next time. Bye.